much of today's video starts out as an analog signal so a working knowledge of analog standards and formats is essential for understanding digital video and the digitization process the fundamental topics which are necessary for understanding analog video are one broadcast standards second video signal standards third video storage formats fourth digitizing video and fifth is digitizing audio in this video we are going to brief broadcast standards the principal standards for analog broadcast transmission are as one national television standards committee that is ntsc the broadcast standard in canada japan the united states and the central america ntsc defines 525 vertical scan lines per frame and yields 30 frames per second the scan lines refer to the number of lines from top to bottom on the television screen the frames per second refers to the number of complete images that are displayed per second the second is phase alternation line that is pal the broadcast standard in europe and in the middle east africa and south america india is also prefers pal standard pal defines 625 vertical scan lines and refreshes the screen 25 times per second and third is system electronic for collier awake memory that is secam s e c a m this is the broadcast standard in france russia and regions of africa secam is a variant of pal but it delivers the same number of vertical scan lines as pal and uses the same refresh rate to produce an image on a television screen an electron gun scans across the television screen from left to right moving from top to bottom as shown in the figure on the screen early television sets used a phosphor coated tube which meant that by the time the gun finished scanning all the lines that the broadcast standard required the lines at the top were starting to fade to combat fading the ntsc adopted an interlace technique so that on the first pass from top to bottom only every other line is scanned with ntsc this means that the first pass scans 262 lines the second pass scans another 262 lines that are used to fill in the rest of the tv image a frame represents the combination of the two passes known as fields and is shown in the figure for ntsc to deliver 30 frames per second it must generate 60 fields per second the rate at which fields are delivered depends on the clocking source ntsc clocks its refresh intervals from ac power in the united states the ac power runs at 60 hertz or 60 oscillations per second the 60 hertz yields 60 fields per second with every two field yielding a frame in europe ac power clocks at 50 hertz 
This yields 50 fields per seconds or 25 frames per second.